If you lived with the effect of fire and water in your chart, we call it a square, when the sun is in Cancer and the moon is in Aries, and it's fire and water, what you would live with is a contrast of one part of you wanting to be super energetic and one part of you wanting to listen to your intuition that gets confusing. So some of you may be lucky enough to be riding high and all the energy in the sky because there's that thank you Aries, okay there's fire, or are you struggling with that battle and feeling that square so it turns into anger and frustration and you want to get up but you want to stay home. You know that feeling, I want to go to the party but I can't get out of the house. That's the energy. The high road is the awareness of how to use this combination. Like, oh, I am going to go to the party even though I have resistance because I feel like I need to move energy. Or I know myself enough to know today's not a good day to go out. But the low road is becoming a victim to say I don't want to go. You don't have to be emotionally confused. When the sun's in Cancer and the moon's in Aries and there's five planets in water, you don't have to make up any excuse to just say, I don't want to do it. June 28th is Elon Musk's birthday. What a great example of a human who's so unusual, so quirky, and has no one to make excuses for. You could be the same person. You could be yourself, listen to your moon and cancer and go, I'm not going out. And I'm giving myself get out of jail free cards.